A new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of... I celebrate Festivus. Festivus is all too real. Festivus is your heritage, part of who you are. The tradition of Festivus begins... It begins. Now. Yes. It's happening. It's fucking, this is happening. We've been doing this a long time. Yeah. By far, my favorite episode. So... Yeah. Happy Festivus. I I am Surface and I am joined by the lovely Zia. You can't see us because we couldn't quite finalize up the video stuff. That's why we're running late. We're trying but, to give you people video. But I had a backup option, so we're all good. We are all good. Here. Yeah. All Gives good. you things ahead. I do. That's what I do. I think about my head. I'm what? No. No. That's not it. I'm drinking. I'm drinking Festivus. Festivus Dude. juice. That I like to call, uh, it's it's bourbon. It's from Chattanooga, and it's 113 proof. So good luck. Why are you wishing me luck? Because you gotta deal with me. Is that past? Is this like present? You wishing future you? Good luck. <laughs> no. Like, are you that far gone already? No, I'm, like, wish oh. I'm just wishing you good luck because you're the one who has to deal with me. No, I got it's uh, I no. Besides, I got juice, too, and I never get to go crazy. You got juice? Of course I got juice. Rum and Coke and <laughs> serenity. Look at you. And you nobody can see it, but I am also wearing a very festive holiday dress. <laughs> oh, uh, well, was... Plaid with Santa hats and snowflakes. <laughs> I, had a, I had a Santa hat on. I saw that. That, that was happening. Mm-hmm. But since we're not on video, we've proceeded to quickly take our clothing off and you know podcast at our natural habitat i will not have a lot of calories to work off tomorrow because whiskey well whiskey is low carb and i don't know how many calories are actually in it so i'm okay it's okay it's all okay well if you don't know how many calories are in it then theoretically you could have a lot to work off well that's true so hold on let's, let's, let's look this up is this for science calories in bourbon let's see what do we got you okay. know the last time we did any kind of science experiment people got really upset and stopped listening to the show each shot of bourbon has about a hundred calories that's actually a lot more than i would have thought i bet it's sugar but there's no car no there's no carbs i thought sugar was in it no the sugar is all uh fermented into alcohol there is no sugar oh well, i guess that's true same, same goes with pretty much any liquor that is not sugary. So like plain vodka, plain rum, it's all zero carbs. Tequila. Huh. There you go. But today I calories. learned. But it does have calories. All right, so I'm probably drinking about like three to 400 calories worth of bourbon right now. Well, make it worth it. I Oh, I am. <laughs> mm. So what... So what have you been up to? You've had way more exciting times lately than I have. Well, like, I don't know, moving into your new house? Yeah, so I'm in a new house. I am I am living in a new abode. I am not a boat, but an abode. Is that what they say? Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know words. And uh, <laughs> I'm unpacked. I am. I have everything kind of settled at this point. Like, everything is... For the most part, good. I, I have a few boxes that just need to get, like, stashed away down in the basement. And uh, that's it. Like, the, the, there's, like, a few issues that I'm dealing with, which I'll bring up in the once we get to airing of grievances. But, um, yeah, new house, new new digs, as you will, new office, new, new, new everything. Well, not new everything, but, like, I'm podcasting from a new room for... This is our. This is the first time. Yeah, this is the first time I'm podcasting from the new house. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Huh? Yep. And Chris, Chris in the chat room was like, "Got snow on the first day." I did get snow on the first day, so that's the. There will be plenty of airing of grievances regarding my moving. Mm. So I don't want to get into all that because we'll be here all night if I get into that. But yes, I'm in a new house. I am. I am. Yeah, this is it. This is this is home now. I've shit's I'm, real. I moved a mile and a half down the road, <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, and fun fact, fun fact for everyone, uh, Zia actually saw the house the day I put an offer on it. That's true. 
she w she came was, with me and saw it. Yeah. I'm very honored that he let me come in. Oh. It's it's a really really beautiful home actually. Yeah. yeah so let's see. A Aeon still in Georgia? Yes, still in Georgia. I, I am literally a mile and a half away. Is it an upgrade? Uh, yes. I think so. It's a little bit in, in of a, in, a, in some ways, yes. Depending on how you look at it, I think it is. Like it is, it's it's a little bit more square footage, but it's more if you if I finish the basement than my old house. Um, the neighborhood is is bigger. It there is a swimming pool with a slide. It's got a pool slide, right? A water slide. It's got a water slide. Yeah. Legit. That's what, that's what they're called. Um, so, uh, Chris is like, Sunder Cave? Well, the Sunder Cave is the office that I am now uh, doing this. Eventually, one one day, one day, I will finalize up the, uh, the basement. But for now, it's storage. So, so, uh, Godzigo in the chat room is like, I'm amazed that you have a basement in Georgia. So here is a little known rule for all you folks who want to know about basements. First of all, in Georgia, you're only allowed to have a basement if it's a, what they call a daylight basement. And which means it has to have an entrance, uh, leading out, which means it has to be built into a hill. So if your house is being built kind of on a hill, then it could have a basement. If it is built on a flat piece of land, it cannot have a basement. So, that's the rule here in Georgia. I found this out a long this time is, ago. This is the most riveting conversation <laughs> I think I could have ever helped for on this festivus. Uh, let's see. Brewmaster Wansu says connected to a garage. I do have a connected garage. It's not connected to the basement. It's just connected to the house so and anyway yeah I'm, I'm in a new house i got christmas trees up i huh last night a friend came over and we hung a tv over where my fireplace i've had furniture delivered uh, oh you had a friend come over that's nice yeah i had a friend come over mm -hmm. just a friend uh, okay. yep he he brought his his tools and he helped me hang the tv and i also got him to ha help me hang a coat rack and a and a thing in the bathroom in order to uh, like a towel holder so. you like bought this friend pizza or something right i did he brought his okay. kids over so his kids and my kids were playing while uh we were doing all this stuff nice so, so i did get pizza and i did feed them pizza so good man good man that's what so, I did. so like that's like what you do I, yeah, well, I mean, that's what I did. I fed people pizza, and let's see, I made cookies tonight uh, for my employees. Um, I I made them a mix of chocolate chip, snickerdoodles, and and sugar cookies. And you're gonna mail them to me. Well, uh, come on down. I have extra. So, um, so yeah, so I got that. I'm also podcasting on a brand new microphone as well so that's what do awesome. you oh that's it's... right you bought a yeti right i i did buy i did buy a, a yeti uh they were on sale so i just grabbed one i figured it'd be easy and i i'll reset up like all the other stuff in due time but i figured for right now having a yeti would just be easy um so yeah so i got that i got that going on i'm in i'm podcasting from a new desk uh same gigabit internet though that was one of the big big factors of why i chose where i lived was i every house i looked at i checked to see if fiber internet was available i know people think like really that's what you were doing yes i wanted i, I couldn't go back to shitty internet uh yeah no, so AI has Google has fiber there or Comcast, and the answer to that is no on both accounts. It's AT and T fiber up here, Aon. Uh, that's what I got. They beat both of them, and uh, so yeah. But yeah, so that's 
most of what I've been doing has been involved moving. That's why our shows have been kind of sporadic. I've been packing and moving and getting stuff ready in the new house. Um, but, but I'm back. I'm here. You're back from outer space. I am back from outer I feel like I've been in outer space. Like it has been a whirlwind of just there's so much logistical stuff. I and things are still not finalized in some regards, which I'll get into in a little bit, but let's oh and uh just to re I, I've been able to to game. I have been able to game a little bit here. Uh rated for the first time. I saw the new Star Wars movie. Don't so, say anything. Uh Snow I have not seen it. Uh, no, 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 I'm not kidding. Don't even joke. Like, I have not seen anything. I'm keeping myself ignorant. I I just, no. I don't want it to be ruined. Snow kills Dumbledore. Okay. That part I knew. <sighs> anyway, no, so I saw that. Um, and then, yeah, I've, I've, played, I've played Overwatch. I've played Heroes. I've played Warcraft here. Um, getting ready for Christmas for the kids. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going on. Gaming-wise, and, well, as soon as I got everything set up and finalized... And you say gaming down. like you've been playing something other than Warcraft. Have you? Well, like I said, I played Overwatch. I played Heroes of the Storm. Um, I really okay. need to pick back up Destiny 2. I want to finish the story mode on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, uh... Let's talk about you. What have you been doing? What are you doing mm -hmm. with your life? It's really not much to report, to be honest with you. Um, I've been picking up a lot of hours at the uh, location that I work at. I still haven't decided if I'm allowed to say or not. I guess it'd be easy to find out, but um, but I have been picking up more hours. And I will be going home here in the next few days. I get to go back, and I'll probably see Dan and Josh. And I keep trying to get, you know, get you up there with, you know, to hang out. Well, uh... But you won't come to Kentucky, so you're going to come to Raleigh, right? I I do want to come back up and I, I want to hang out with, with, with you and Mark in, uh, in Shuffle Hill. I think it'll be fun. I want to go back to that arcade bar that we went to. Come on up! So, uh, I just need to figure out when, um... Work is work is crazy and like so I just gotta look over the schedule of things that are going on, uh -huh. um, and uh, there are certain certain times that I can are easier for me to get away than others. So I'll have to fair enough. Have to just look at that and see what because I know that you like to jet set around the world and everything. You're you're always on vacation, always I on am. vacations, always traveling, always always on the go. Living the dream. You really are. That's how you do it. Life's too short to, to not be on vacation all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so fancy. Yeah, you know it. So, uh, I, other than that, just been, um, Mark and I have been playing this game called Rebel Galaxy, which is on the PS4. It was a free PS PlayStation Plus game like a while back. And it's sort of like Elite Dangerous. And that's been kind of fun, and so we've been kind of addicting it, addicted to that, and took a break from playing Shadow of War. And you okay over there? Just choking. This 113 choking? proof bourbon is this is the real deal right here. Yeah. I'm feeling all yeah. feeling all warm and tingly. Don't don't choke, don't choke on me. Don't choke. <laughs> that would be a real way to go out on your. <laughs> what a way to go episode. though. What a way to go, though. I can't... I suppose I think, so. I think that might be one of, one of the better ways to go out. Like, how do you go out? He did what he loved. Podcasting his Festivus episode. Yeah, and but drinking. He lost the feats of strength, and we never heard from him again. He lost the feats of strength, right? <laughs> he lost the feats of strength. Yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, really not much to report. I, um, I guess no news is a good thing. I'm probably missing something really, really major, and everybody will be really disappointed when they find out what it is. Uh, for now, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't you, know. I just feel like you moved, and I'm just like, nah, I didn't move. <laughs> I didn't really do shit. 
So what about the holidays? What what do you got going on for the holidays? Are you Well, are I'm you going staying... back to Kentucky. Okay. Louisville. But I'm pretty I'm, Louisville, yeah, I'm pretty Louisville. stoked about that. Yeah, I'm going home. I always love going home. And um seeing folks and yeah, I'm I'm pumped about that. I'll be gone for a little bit. This be good. And that's it. Are you all ready? Are you are you ready for Christmas? You got all your shopping done? Fuck no. <laughs> of course I don't. You know it's like in like six days, and actually it's technically five because today is done. So. Hey, Amazon. Hey. hey, Amazon doesn't sleep. I think I got time. I think you can. I think they said that you can order up until like Friday to, with two day shipping. Else. Or like, or is it Friday with expedite? Yeah, it's Friday with like expedited one day shipping. Ugh. You can get it, but like, so like, I guess like thir- Wednesday or thir- well, tomorrow or Thursday is like the last days you can order stuff on Amazon to guarantee it. That's it, buddy. You hurry up and get my present. Get on it. <laughs> you I- know what? I did not order you anything because I wasn't sure exactly where you were going because I kept seeing messages about, like, Lawville. I don't even know when you were going, so I didn't want to... We may have to do gifts after you're done with Lawville. Yep. I I expect you to deliver it to me by hand. Deliver it to you by hand. Correct. All right. Because you're going to come visit me. You and your and your friend who helped you set up a television. You should bring him, too. <laughs> you have a television for him to set up? Yeah. Okay. He can play with my kid. Fushling will, will is is good company. His kids will really like Fushling. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be sure to check out Southwest's website for uh, for deals on flights up to Raleigh. I love that. Yeah, this this podcast is not endorsed by Southwest Airlines. <laughs> I I like them because they're cheap, and I feel yeah. safe. Unlike other airlines, that are cheap, and I would feel unsafe. I will not name them on this show because I do not want to be sued. Uh, but there's certain airlines that I just don't feel safe on that are cheap. I'm sure that they're listening to the show right now. They waiting could be. to see. They're Wait, just... just fucking just waiting for you. But, but you see, that's how they stay so cheap. Suing people? Yes. Suing, suing, suing... assholes like us? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. See, you know what's going on. I don't I need to tell so. you. Yeah. Is anybody in the chat room? Yes. There are people actually showed up. Yeah, Why? But, yeah, we got people. <laughs> like, oh, you could, we've got Medi is in here. Aeon's here. No, like a trader, Godziga. We got Aeon, God, yeah. Chris. We got Medi's not Dove. Here. Medi is here. She is here. That's awesome. She says she's slamming down some eggnog and she motorboats Zia and sack taps Seraphis. My girl. That's what's happening right now. My girl. Cool. That's awesome people are in the chat room. I wasn't sure if folks would, you know, want to show up and listen to this garbage. Wansu is here. Yeah, we got Erlina is here. Like, we, there's, there's, it, like, there, there are people who show up for Festivus. Because Festivus, fe- oh, it's, for the, it's, for the it's rest. a Festivus miracle. You know what? People showing up is kind of a Festivus miracle. <laughs> Especially because, like, we've been so, like, inconsistent with our podcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Because, yeah. like, what, we got back from BlizzCon, and then, like, it was, like, the holidays, and I was packing and moving, and and you were going to Lawville, and, like, it was, yeah. Between the two of us and everything that was going on over the past, like, two months, I am glad that this was a date that we, like, set in stone. We're like, no, it's happening. Festivus. Oh, I knew it was happening. I knew it was happening. Like it, it was sort of like an understood thing that today would be the Festivus day. I love Festivus. It, I this was really do. my favorite episode of the whole year. I know you do. I tried to get Ray. I, I tried. He tried. He said he couldn't do it. Yeah, and then he said he he gave me a scroff, and then he said, "Okay, and now I'm going to go to bed." <laughs> <laughs> and he said he needed to talk to us. All right. So. It's probably the time has finally come where he's gonna tell us that we're in his will. All this time we've been waiting, the gout has finally come to take him. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, this friendship is gonna pay off. 
His, ga- <laughs> his gouty foot. What? Do you get his? You get his lizard? I get his like wrestling posters or something. I, I hope so. I would take his lizard. Yeah, I'll I'll clink my glasses Sorry. out too. It's a gecko. Whatever. Oh, were you corrected? Who corrected you? Myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who the fuck in the chat room would care that much? Be like, uh, it's a gecko. I don't think anyone care. <laughs> I don't think it's anyone a would. fucking gecko. You know what I'm just glad Fucker. about? Oh, God, Festivus is back! <laughs> well, can we do what we're here to do? Maybe? Well, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to do... Well, we should probably do airing of grievances first. Yeah, yeah, we should. All right, let's do that. You gather your family around. And tell them all the ways they have disappointed you over the past year. All right. You want to go first? I feel like you should. Oh, man. All right. So first of all, chat room, if you guys have any grievances, we want to hear about them. Uh, I've already grabbed one. Um, Chris says, best of his quote number one, I'll take his lizard. (laughs) Zia. (laughs) All right. I would would do that for him. All right. So buckle in, everyone. Right, I got we'll I got some grievances, and most of it's going to be around moving. So I closed on my house. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, remember, okay. grievances aren't necessarily foffs, you know. Well, I know, but I have grievances. Okay. Are these grievances or foffs? They're, they're a combination. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So my first grievance is to people who don't understand about buying houses at all. Like, you have a realtor. They should have explained this to you, but... The lady who bought my house, after we closed and I handed her my keys, she's like, well, you're hiring me a cleaning service, right? I'm like, no, it is your house. You can clean it your damn self. Yeah. Like, did you put it in the agreement? Yeah. No? Yeah. Have at so, it. <laughs> look, if you want a cleaning service for a house that you are buying, you make sure you negotiate that before you close on the damn house. That's, that's rule number one. All right. Rule number two. My grievance is that Georgia still still cannot handle snow properly it's ridiculous so the so friday the day after i moved into the house like i had everything scheduled i was gonna get a refrigerator delivered i was gonna get internet i was gonna get satellite tv i was gonna get furniture delivered nope nope and nope all that never happened why why because it snowed it was a lot of snow granted but uh i got none of that so uh, and I was actually trapped in my house with no food because all my food was over at my mom's. So what did I do? I had enough stuff in the house to make bread. I literally made bread by hand Friday night. <laughs> wait, wait, you weren't kidding? Like you had, like you handed bread, like needed the dough and... Oh yeah, I needed dough. I let it rise. I, I, I baked it in the oven. Yeah. Yeah, I made bread. Wow, I feel like this should be a part of your life story. Like, there should be a part of your movie where you're hand making bread to like a really depressing song, and it's like about you know like triumphing and, and all that shit. Like, that would be in your in your life documentary thing. By the Go way, ahead. apparently uh, for the movie, there there are people who are on Twitter who allegedly think that Tom Hardy should play me in a movie. That's fair. I'm not, I'm not sure I see it, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, so I made, I had to make bread to basically survive on Friday. Um, so then, then I had to like reschedule. It it was then somehow it was on me. It was on me to reschedule all this stuff. So the internet finally came on Monday. The satellite didn't come until the following Friday. The furniture didn't come until Sunday, but it was supposed to come on the Friday. But the driver who was supposed to deliver on Friday decided to quit in the middle of his route. And so... (laughs) <laughs> what yeah and so then they delivered my furniture but then there's like two pieces that are broken so now i'm still waiting for like the fixed oh my pieces God. to get delivered um <laughs> the the fridge the fridge getting that delivered that didn't come until um tuesday came on or no was it monday maybe it was came last monday anyway that was a huge cluster too because I bought it at Best Buy, and Best Buy has, like, an in-house third-party company that sells appliances. And then that company uh, offloads the delivery of the appliances to another third party. 
And that third party contracts with another third party warehousing company. <laughs> So, you know you but you okay go ahead so what could go wrong right everything like <laughs> the warehouse people got like new equipment so they didn't know how to check back in the thing so they couldn't reschedule my delivery it had to get escalated to best buy best buy couldn't tell me when they were going to deliver it and then all of a sudden like i got an email on like sunday saying it was going to get delivered the next day and then it got delivered and it got installed yeah anyway i got a really good deal on um, on the fridge and and whatnot but uh it's been it's been an overwhelming experience moving into this house just because of the snowstorm like literally effed everything up it was crazy um so those are those are all my grievances around moving okay. um my annual grievance is for 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 you for you zia is your as it should be you're always late one year, mm -hmm. you're going to listen to the grievance, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to listen to Sarah, and I'm going to be on time. <laughs> and I'm going I'm, I'm going to be in shock, and it's going to be great. But every Festivus, I have the same grievance in the hopes that one year you will be on time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, all right. All right. What other problems do I have with you people? Um You know what? I, I have to just... I, I, I'm going to throw in a props, though. I'm going to throw in a props to so many great friends in supporting me with this whole move and everything. Like, like between you and... and God, there's just... Like, my guildies here and Phalanx of Nod, uh, who just been there, have been offered to come over and help me unpack um, as long as I make them brunch. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> Or bread, um, apparently. <laughs> can make bread now. I know how to do that. Um, Can't believe it. That's but no, awesome. like, between, and, and then just props to the people on Twitter who have just given me so much support and love and uh, regarding, like, my, I guess my whole, like, workout, like, journey this past year. Like, it's, like, just the support's awesome. And and special, pro like, fuck. Fuck Boo Pog actually sent me a, a gifted loot crate in Overwatch telling me like that I'm doing an awesome job working out. So I mean that means a lot. Like I, I feel like nice. I gotta I feel like I gotta double down my efforts now. To uh to make everyone still proud of like the gains that I've gotten, as some people put it. Um Yeah. But no That was like, a cool thing to do. No, but huge, huge props to to all all my friends who have who have just been there, who have just hung out, helped me with the the moving and and done odd things, or even just like talked to me on the phone, who've come to visit me. Um, it really, really means a lot. Like it's yeah, this this whole past year has just been a very turbulent year in my life, and um, as I'm like settling into the next chapter of my life here, it's it's been nice to have friends to to lean on and support offering me to go and visit them, um, to just kind of get away from the hecticness. So I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. So that's what I got. I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm good with all the grievances and, and my props right now. That's it. Like for your grievances. I'm sure, I, I feel like I should have more. Like, you go yeah. ahead. What are you, what are you I worried? feel like you should. That's been, this was like the weakest grievances ever. <laughs> well, I wanted to give props to people because like... It Why? Really this episode is not for props. No. I'm sorry. No. Uh, people are... People have been nice. All right, fine. Uh, grievances. You go. Give me some of your this grievances. Is a, grievances? Well, you're about to make me add a grievance. Go ahead. About you not, not doing this correctly. I wish I could see your face. I, I want to try and make you laugh so bad. You want me to go ahead? Yeah, go. You sitting down? I'm sitting down. I want to hear this. You apparently have some... I do. Alright, I want to hear... I, I do. Wanna... Alright. So, so, listen. I think you... Everybody has the wrong idea about you. They think, 
Oh, oh, Sarah. <laughs> he thinks about himself so much. He is always trying to like figure out. See, this is what it took me a while to figure <laughs> this out about you. But you're always like trying to ride people's asses about getting shit done. And I'm like, man, he's a he that jerk. He's always in my business. He's always giving me dates and 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 plans and giving I hate you the it. Business. Yeah, he's always doing that. And it makes me mad and all he thinks about is himself because he wants to bother me. And he doesn't care about my feelings. But now now I'm on to you, piece of shit. You think of everyone else and everything else instead of yourself. And I have given you a hard time about this in the past, about how you never relax. Even though you say you do, you're so full of shit because <laughs> anybody else would be like, yeah, I'm going to sit on my ass. I'm going to do nothing all day long. Yeah, not you. You're like, oh, I got to go. I got to work out. I got to go do this thing. And if I don't, then I'm going to like explode. No. <laughs> if there is something I want you to take into next year, sir, my issue with you is that I need you a couple days I'm not asking for like a whole month. You don't have to do it in consecutive days. But I need you to adopt a a methodology of Oh, I thought you were gonna say a cat. I'm like, no. No, 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 no. You should adopt a cat. Everybody should. <coughs> not adopting a cat. So clothing is optional. You're gonna wake up in the morning late. Yeah, you're not gonna have anything planned in terms of work. You're going to wake up whenever you feel like it. Clothing is optional. Hands on your nuts. Not giving a fuck is mandatory. I don't feel like you do that enough, and you need to do that. And all you people fucking throwing this pity party about how Dave is never, you know, he's so, he's so sweet and so, no. Don't you give in. You make sure, folks, that he's spending time for himself. Did you think of everyone else? And I really appreciate that about you. But fuck off. <laughs> I feel like you tried taking a prop and converted it into like a fof. That's because I know how to properly handle a Festivus episode, unlike you. <laughs> Look, this is not my first rodeo, okay? I know what I'm doing. No, clearly it is, and you need to be corrected on the ways of anger, sir. I think you've lost your way. We need to we need to get Ray back in here somehow. <sighs> to piss you off. <laughs> sure, I have another grievance. Oh, yeah, Do I have more. By the way, Dove says, when people think about everyone else, you end up getting screwed over by an asshole. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe I have it all wrong, and you've been screwing me over this whole time. <laughs> maybe I'm the one who should be putting my hands down my pants and, and not putting on clothes. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> So, um, so Medi no, just tweeted out, like, hands on your nuts, not giving a fuck is mandatory. Zia, I'm just wondering. Yep. Zia 2017. <laughs> that's like, that's my fucking motto for 2018. Hands Dump on my nuts, you, not giving a fuck. Dump says you completely mis misunderstood her. I did? Yes. Oh, probably. Because she was probably trying to be nice. Um, all right, well, I'm not done. Good. So, good? Yeah. Um, people, listen. Listen. <laughs> you gotta check your emails. You gotta check your emails. <laughs> I mean, like, if you're gonna, at, if you wanna sign up for something, <laughs> and then you're gonna get butt hurt when things don't go your way, but it's because you haven't been checking your email, and you haven't been communicating. You guys, you gotta communicate. Zia, 2017. <laughs> um, I do want to say uh, a very personal fuck off to my grandfather because he died on my son's birthday this uh, month. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I uh, I've been kind of like having this war of um, nobody knows about. I've actually haven't said anything to anybody well, other than my you. husband and um. No, it's okay. It's been one of those things where, like, you know when, uh, uh, let's see, let me think about this. You know when, like, somebody you really care about either has something really bad happen to them or somebody dies 
or, you know, I don't know, there's something bad and like, and, and then you feel happy for something else. And then you remember that there's this other shitty thing and you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't feel happy. You're like, I have this war. And so <laughs> my, my grandfather passing away, it was sort of like, oh, I want to have fun today because it's Fushling's birthday. But oh, fuck, my grandpa died. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you can laugh about it. That's oh, hell important. yeah. No, no, no. My grandfather was an amazing person, and, and he died on his own terms. Like, he he was like, you know what? My shit's not working. And everybody was like, okay, well, Ronald, you need to go to the, the hospital, and you got to go do this shit. And he was like, nah, fuck that noise. I'm going to stay home. He stopped taking his medicine for, like, three months. He was just, like, drinking beer. <laughs> it's just like, fuck this. And he died in his sleep. So, no, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm sad because I kind of wanted to see him again before, you know, for the holiday, but I'm not, I don't know, you know, when people get really fucking old and then they just die and, and you're bummed, it's awful, but, like, they've lived a fulfilling life, like, that's good. It's when people, like, when Tristan died, that, that was hard. So, um, I don't really know where the, all this came from. I'm guessing airing my airing of grievances i'm airing my grievances so yeah grandpa fuck you <laughs> uh i'm glad i'm not my own grandpa right now because <laughs> i'd be like... dead <laughs> that, that's just weird i don't yeah well i'm not quite sure what's happened there well you need to drink more and then it'll all make am. sense it'll all make perfect sense Oh yeah, you know what? Fuck you too, because <laughs> you you won't tell me details of, of things in your life. You are picking and choosing the details to share. And I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. You need to tell me everything. I need to know everything that you're doing. <laughs> have you seen the Punisher? I'm gonna be I fucking my I'm gonna be fucking micro on your ass. I'm not uh, it. Don't tell me the end. <laughs> I'm on episode twelve. Don't don't. But yeah, I'm gonna be micro on your ass. Oh, man. I miss talking to you. You miss talking? To you. To me? Well, yeah. That could be fucking fun. It is. Oh, I'm so glad it's Festivus, though. <laughs> I love talking. I love getting berated by you on Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely way to uh, start the week. Yeah. Getting berated by my friend. Yeah, Festivus. Fuck you for not taking time for yourself. Now you're going to listen to me berate you about a whole bunch of other shit, too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know what? Fuck Ray. I'm going to throw Ray in there, too. Piece of shit. <laughs> fucking moves to Canada. He he does what everybody else wants to do right now. And he just goes quiet. Just ghosts. Fucker. You know it. Because Scroff was to being sick, by the way. He was like, oh, Scroff being sick. Yeah, well, Scroff you for fucking disappearing. Fucking Swayze. <laughs> fucking Swayze? Yeah. He fucking, you know, like, ghost. Patrick Swayze. You never heard somebody say that before? No. No, I can't take credit for that. I, I've heard of, like, when you, like, if you're pulling a Swayze, like, when you walk in a room, like, it means, like, you're, like, strutting your stuff, but. No, like, ghost like Swayze. It's from a rap song. Okay. <laughs> it is. It really is. You are so white. It's ridiculous. I okay. know. And I embrace it. You know what? Mark, I'm looking at you, bitch. Fucking passive aggressive garbage. <laughs> My husband is the most passive aggressive fucker on the planet. He'll have you think he's not, but secretly he's stirring the pot. He's over here just fucking saying mean shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you got any other grievances? I don't know. This feels good. <laughs> this feels so good. I'm going. I'm going to piggyback on your grievance about like yeah, hop on. emails. All right. Yeah. Look, this is going to go to Kickstarter backers. Look, I love everyone who supports Common Storm. I do. 
But if you support us and you're giving us money and you want stuff, like, for the love of God, check your emails. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we literally just want to give you things. And, like, every year it's always a struggle with, like, like anywhere between, like, 5 to, like, 20 people who just don't check email. You know what? <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, no. But to be fair, if anything, it's a compliment to us. Because they, they like, do it, forget it. And that means that they know that, like, we're not going to fuck up. Or if we do fuck up, like we did with the art, I, I say we. That was me. Uh, we'll own it. So, you know, and maybe maybe we're looking at it the wrong way. <laughs> no, but then, like, some of those people, not all, like, there's usually, like, like, two or three who, like, complain then, like, Five months after the fact. Like, hey, <laughs> like, you know, you know, we're going to get an email from somebody. We, and, and like, we probably know, like, uh, potentially who they are. Like, like, hey, I never got my stuff. We're like, we know. We have it sitting here. We've sent you, like, a bazillion emails to, to clarify your, your. We want to give you things so bad. <laughs> Why won't you let us send you things? Because we love you. We love you. The best, though, I, I'm, I'm going to continue with my grievance on this, like, is the people who complain about us not sending their stuff in a timely fashion, and then we send them, like, well, we need your updated, like, mailing address. And then they, <laughs> and then, and then they don't respond. Like, we literally, like, respond, like, <laughs> mi like, minutes. Like, minutes after they send it. And then, like... You know, this, is, this episode's going to make people so mad. Like, we're not like, going to fun next it's year. Like, it's going to be all our fault. But it's, like, two months later, like, they'll come back and, like, you still haven't sent my stuff. We're like, we... we we sent you we an know. email. <laughs> we just want to. It's give in you my email. house. I hate it. Oh, we want to give you stuff. I just want to give you stuff. I mean it in like, like the nicest. Like I would say all of this to somebody with a big smile and a hug. Like I, I am so grateful to those people. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but my God, let us give you the stuff because we don't want it sitting in our homes. No, it's not fun. It's, it's, you should be enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, you should be enjoying this stuff, not us. What's going to wind up happening is, is Zia is going to hold on to your stuff. She's going to give it to the fushling. The fushling's going to drool all over it, and then she's going to send it to you. And you're going to be like, why is there drool all over it? You're like, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's limited edition. Limited edition. <laughs> oh. Limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of shit that V would do. Isn't it? She'd be like, hmm. Limited. She's smart. Yeah, but she, yeah, she would be like, That's Mr. Robot. We're going to sell this as limited edition. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, I, I got a grievance against Ask Mr. Robot. Uh-oh. Yeah. What's that? So they had an awesome product where they would take the logs and they would then convert that into, like, infographics about, like, how well your, your guild is doing in raids. And then they mm -hmm. just kind of, like, got rid of it. And it was, like, the coolest feature. Like, I would easily have paid for it. I would have. And then they just decided not to do it anymore. And I'm like, no. It was literally like your your coolest best feature. Like I want like I wanted to throw money at them. Like for it. And they just stopped doing it. And that was that was very disappointing. Well, you know, you know somebody. I know, and I've already you told her. You know somebody. I've told her, I'm like, you should bring it back. You're like, oh, it just took a lot of time. I'm like, yeah, work is work. Sometimes you gotta put in a lot of time, make things work, but it was a good product. It was a good product. You know they worked their butts off. I know, but that was like one of the coolest things, and uh, it made it so easy, because you could easily just point and tell like a raider, like, hey look, you stood in the fire 97% more than anybody else, not only in our raid, but in the entire world. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, really? They're like, yeah, look at this graphic that Ask Mr. Robot has put together on your behalf. Which clearly shows, like, here's everybody else in the entire universe, and here's you. You are burning. 
Like, you know the game, the floor is lava, and you're not supposed to touch the floor? You were touching the floor the whole time. You were just standing in it. You're burning to a crisp. You're dead. You're Hades. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. <laughs> you did. It was such a good thing, and I don't know why they got rid of it. Well, maybe people were abusing it so that they could bully their, their guildmates. Well, it wasn't about bullying because, like, you didn't even have to do it. You just, like, sent everyone a link. Like, here, go take a look at how you did. And they're like, oh, oh, oh. Did oh, not... oh, oh. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's, that's another grievance. I was wrong. Bring that back. Bring back your infographic. Uh, raid assessments. Those were good. That was good stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me, uh, let me read one from Dove. Dove, Dove had a grievance here. Uh, she's like, the game community I belong to does everything so half-assed, and little by little I have been asked to do more and more, aside from the two shows. They put me as community manager and put me in charge of Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. All volunteer. The other staff, who are shareholders, and there's quotes around that, by the way, work yeah. less than I do, but actually get potential profits from the channel. They're gearing up for their New Year's 24-hour stream, and even though I was on the planning for it, I do not actually, I'm not actually included in the stream. So pretty much saying, fuck off to them. Hate people who take advantage of those who are willing to help and not appreciate them. That sucks. That's bullshit. That is a legitimate grievance. Taking, yeah. taking advantage of people's generosity is, is shit. It's complete yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get behind that. Especially because you're a really good person, Dolph. Like, you're a legitimate, no joke, very, very kind person. Like, she's she's had reason to be mad at us. I'm sure. Oh, and, like, I'm she's sure. Just, she's never mad. She's never mad. She's just funny about it. and She rolls with it. So, yeah, I'm sorry that no, this is, we're doing this wrong, see? We're falling into the trap. We're supposed to be like, fuck yeah, Dove. Yeah, fuck yeah, Dove. Those we're not gonna are, be sorry. Those we're gonna are, be angry with you. Those people are a-holes. Yeah, cunties. They're cunty McGill cutties. Fucking, we'll, we'll shank them. I will, I will make a shank. Yeah. I'm looking around my desk. What can I make a shank out of? Your dick. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I need you to take it down a notch. <laughs> I, okay, here's another grievance. Zia, Zia constantly pulls out like the 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 the, the D. I'm the, always the, pulling the, out the D. D. She's always pulling out the D. Like that's like her go-to. Like, hey, something, something's going wrong. Let's just pull out the D. Hey, okay. some matters need to be solved with cock. <laughs> All right. There's just sometimes, you know what? I, maybe not Harvey Weinstein level. I don't think he was trying to solve things with cock. But sometimes I can't. I can't transition here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, Chris says, "Will that shit down and point and stab a bitch?" And Maddie says she has to put her coffee down because she keeps spitting it out. <laughs> This podcast does not condone sexual harassment. <laughs> Unless you're Zia, who just sexually harasses everybody. Yeah, you know what? It actually, I got to be. I started to get self conscious, man. Like the last time I went home um, and during Thanksgiving, so we were all hanging out at this um, this really cool place. I like it. It's kind of it's a, like a. I don't. I refuse to call things barcades. It's an arcade, and you can drink alcohol. Um. And so we're hanging out, so, and I have this So thing. it was a barcade then? Uh, yes, you can call whatever you want. Okay. Right, so I have this habit, and if you hung out with me, <laughs> sober or otherwise, I like to um, scoop. I like to scoop, which is when you um, cup your hand, <laughs> and you take the tips of your fingers, and you, you smack gently... Actually, it's like I said, it's a scoop. It's more like you're you're holding, like a bra, if you will, um, somebody's nipples or breasts. Uh, and I do that. I just I think it's funny, and I'll scoop people. 
Um, and then like I'll run because I don't want them to get me back. And it's so fun actually to rattle people with it because I'm like, yeah, I scooped you. You can't, you know, you can get me back. And they're like, no, I can't. I can't do that. You're a girl. I'm like, uh-uh, fair game. If I scooped you, you scoop me. <laughs> but I've gotten to a point now, dude, where I'm like, man, I, don't, I feel like I people I don't know, like I've met them and we've hung out like a couple times, like Nick, like I don't know if I can scoop you and you not feel like I'm harassing you. Like women can do it too. And so now I'm, I'm self-conscious of uh, my scooping. You're just like the worst kind of person. Wow. <laughs> scooping, uh, it's it's not nice. Oh, well, scooping is nice if, if everybody is a, a willing participant. So basically you need to have like a sign-up sheet for like a scooping. By... So if you're going to be in a party by Zia, she's going to have an online sign-up sheet. If you're okay to be scooped and retaliation scoop, you need to sign the, the sign-up sheet so she knows. Mm-hmm. That's basically what you need. You need you need a sign up sheet. Like I will be at this location. If you will also be at this location, I need to know if you're okay with scooping. And just in case I don't know you, you may need to include a picture of yourself so I I can I can pick you out of a crowd and scoop you. Yeah, it's true. It's true. We got to be more. Uh, you know. We, we need to be uh, more uh, sensitive to people's needs, Dave. Okay. All right. Well, you work on that. Okay. Are we going to get to feats of strength? Well, I mean, uh, I'm going to ask the, um, so the chairman uh, about any more grievances. Oh, okay. Come on. So I will ask them. Uh, I will say that I have grievances about people who are too lazy at work to do their jobs. Like, look, you are being paid to do your job. Just do your job. Like, don't, like, throw something, like, over the fence and, like, say, oh, now it's your problem to deal with. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to pull you back in. And I'm going to make you do a little work. Mm Mm-hmm. So, um... Uh, oh, and Dub just says, you just freaking told him not to focus on people's needs and focus on himself. I did. So. Um, oh. oh, and, yeah, now, you're right. and now you okay. said the opposite. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Okay, well, but except when it comes Dub, to things of a sexual Dub nature. Dub is calling you out. Yeah, Dub, um, I'm going to take back the things I said about you being a nice person. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll come up there. No, I'm saying, Dave, uh, you know what? You're right. I need to worry about other people's needs, but you keep on slapping people's titties left and right. <laughs> I think that would probably land me. I need to slap the fuck out of every person's titties you walk by tomorrow. I feel like that's going to get me fired. So I'm not going to do that. But I appreciate the thought that I can. Because, but I don't think that's gonna hold up when when my HR decides to fire me. That would assume that they're doing their job. <laughs> that is true. Mm-hmm. That is true. All right. Do oh, I got any other? There's no other grievances, you guys. This is weak. What the fuck is this chat room? Oh, I got a grievance. I got a grievance yeah. for you. Yeah, what get it out. the fuck is up with Nintendo and their $70 fucking controllers for the Switch? That's, for the Switch? It's bullshit. It's, Why are they $70, dude? Because it's fucking Nintendo. And they're like, oh, well, fuck you. Or, you know, we have a $300 console. Then if you want another controller, you get to spend 70 fucking dollars for a goddamn controller. It's bullshit. It's yeah. fucking horseshit. Like, and Nintendo, they're like, well, we're Nintendo, so we can get away with it. And it's like, and because they don't, they don't like allow like third party controllers to be made for it. So it's bullshit. It's fucking clown shoes. 
Do you have a Switch? Uh, yes. No. I, I bought one for, for my home for Christmas, and I only wrapped up the box. It is technically out of the box, but I'm, I can't set it up while the kids are around. So is it a gift for you or your kids? Both. <laughs> Picked up Mario Kart. Okay. So. Sweet. Um. <laughs> Medi says she has another grievance about uh about someone, but. It can't be okay. read out loud? Yeah, it can't be read out loud because apparently we're on speaker. But um, people need to just be more mindful of their surroundings and how comfortable people are with them being around them. Except you, Dave. Except me. Like, I, yeah, apparently except for me. Mm -hmm. Dub said so. Everybody else, watch your shit. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Come on, buddy. I'm not fucking. I'm gonna go to bed. All right. Well, let's do a feats of strength. Hold on. Let me do. Uh... And now, as Festivus rolls on, we come to the feats of strength. Until you pin me, Festivus is not over. All right. Man, you're gonna be pinning me pretty easily here. All right. So, I got some super fight cards. Holiday. We've Sweet. done this before. We've done this before. I like these. Oh, they're so fun. So I'm going to pick I'm going to pick a character for you. Okay. All right. Here we go. We are going to go with All right. Pick that one. All right. Here we go. And right. let's see and then the special superpower. Let's see what's the superpower. What do you got? Better not pick me anything lame. Oh, you better not. Oh, You're not shuffling. on camera. This is this is okay. honesty. You better stay say honest about this. I'm honest. Here we go. You ready? I know how you operate. Okay, so hold on. So I got yours. Now I gotta I gotta get mine now. So by the way, you are a Christmas sex doll that ejaculates elves. Oh, easy. Dick would hurt. <laughs> All right. And now you got my superpower. Okay. Let's hear it. All right. So I am Krampus, and I have a magic bag with infinite sex toys. Wait. What? Krampus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. We watched that together. Yeah, we, yeah, we watched that shit. That was... That was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. That was so great. Uh, and then I, my magical power is I have a magic bag filled with infinite sex toys. So, just to make sure I've got this right. So I'm a sex doll. That ejaculates elves. Okay. And I am Does it say I'm realistic? Am I a real realistic sex doll? Does it have any description of the sex doll? It doesn't have any description of it. So I mean I guess you could be like what? Like uh I mean what are we thinking? Like are we, are we is it like one of those real dolls or is it like one of those like real dolls that's like got the AI thing going, or is it like are you kinda of like a Skynet type sex doll where you're just like self aware now? It's a good question. Ah, we're thinking about it too much. You want to go first? Who's going first? I don't know. That's the chat room. All right, chat room. Who needs to uh, basically give their one minute spiel about why they can kick the other one's ass? Um. <laughs> Maybe he's like, is that what happens to a guy's hand during Christmas? A Krampus? I get it. I see what you did there. That's, that's, that's pretty funny, Maddie. Uh I see what you did there. Uh, Dub says ladies first. 
Yeah, so go ahead. Wow. Wow. What? I see what you that's, did there. That was a crappy joke. It wasn't that good. Yeah, I can go first. All right, hold on. I gotta get the stopwatch going. All right, you got one minute. You ready? Set. Go. So I'm a sex doll that impersonates Krampus. And as I'm beating my dick and shooting out the elves, I shoot out an army that proceeds to steal your bag. And because your bag is not intelligent enough to tell the difference between fake Krampus and, and sex, fucking sex fueled Krampus. I um, have it generate a bunch of really just terrible sex toys that really just like throw you into uh, an orgasmic state and you can't function. Your turn. All right. Well, you only use up 42 seconds. All right. Yeah, because I don't need a whole minute to explain <laughs> how I want to fucking win. Well, I got stamina, so I'm probably going to use the whole minute. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do it. All right, so I'm Krampus, and I have a magic bag of infant sex toys that got stolen by your ejaculated elves. But it doesn't matter, because I'm motherfucking Krampus. So I'm just going to need to, like, go underneath the snow and, like, pop out of the fucking walls with, like, my ice hooks and, like, put you in a giant, like, little menagerie of snow globes. And that's really it. That's all Spoilers. I got. Spoilers. <laughs> Fuck the spoilers. It was a shitty movie. <laughs> but... So, I don't need my bag of infinite sex toys where I would have just, like, thrown, like, a whole bunch of fleshlights at your at your head and, and knocked you unconscious or, or uh, I don't know what other kind of sex toys there are. Like, really? You only know about flesh fleshlights? Well, because <laughs> Ray, Ray talked a whole bunch about them. Mm-hmm. Ray, blame it on Ray. He's not well, here. Don't you get? Well, I mean, Ray's got like the like the the, the triple prong things. But anyway, I don't need any of that because I'm fucking Krampus. Triple prong? Who the hell are you fucking alien? Right. <laughs> 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 All right, chat room. Does does Zia, who has the Christmas sex doll, who ejaculates Elzin, or do I win? She didn't say Krampus? that five times fast. This was this was our feats of strength here. So we'll, we'll we'll see what we'll see what the uh, the chat room has to say here. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see who they think is deserving of the win. Because last year they voted for me. Of course they did, because you're like the golden child of of the blundering. <laughs> don't don't be bitter. Don't be bitter. Mm -hmm. This fucking it's festivus, buddy. It's a whole part of the of the holiday spirit. Uh, let's see. Um, well, well. We are getting that. There is. Nope, that's not what I want. I want. Where is. Nope. Oh my god. I just pulled. I was like trying to find something. I just saw. Remember when we did boob density back in 2012? That's what I'm saying when you were talking about science experiment. I was like, dude, remember last time we did a science experiment? People stopped listening. <laughs> Because they like thought that I like I was being sexualized or like whatever, and I was the one who was like, "Yeah, fucking measure my tits, let's do it." The chat room does not want to say who won. Are you all fucking serious? No one is like saying anything. Like they're all talking. <laughs> you guys, I fucking am a am a Krampus sex doll. I f I fucked Sarah's <laughs> character into submission. How am I not the winner here? Dove says I win. How? How? Medi says you win. Yeah, because, because she's, she's all about right. this. Oh, uh, Froggy, Erlina, they all say Zia wins. Uh, Brewmaster says you won. All right, I think I'm I'm losing this year's feats of strength. Dub says, Dub says, Zia, you're, I, I had to go, Sarah, because you are confused. You're not Krampus. I, I'm confused? 
Yeah. Dub says no. you're confused. No, my ejaculate elves are the ones that got confused. Excuse me. My ejaculate elves were on point. Your bag got confused. Your bag of trick. All right. Um, let's do real. I'm going. I'm going to do. Let's do a quick thing just for you. If you're going to play, uh, a little bit of horse or sex act. Yay! Just, just for funsies. All right. Are you ready? Uh huh. All right. Cunning stunt. Cunning stunt. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be a. That is correct. Thank you. All right. A Kentucky Klondike bar. Oh, absolutely a sex act. <laughs> that is correct. The Kentucky Klondike bar is actually Damn, fucking killing it, buddy. Is the act of freezing a bowel movement and sexually penetrating another with a frozen bowel movement. That's really gross. <laughs> that is really disgusting. That's that's like. <laughs> Like, I'm going to close the internet now. Like, I'm going to, like, exit out of the internet and go to bed. <laughs> I need to, like, why, take why a break it, from the internet. But it's called the Kentucky Clon. Like, I picked this. I like, couldn't. I <coughs> cannot fathom. What, what is going on in Kentucky? I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. I don't. That's I don't, horrifying. That is horrifying. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got a totally toasted. Totally toasted. Of course. You said, what'd you say? Horse. Yes, Jesus. All right. I'm telling you. Tabasco cat. That's a horse. God damn it. If that was a sex act, that'd be kind of hilarious. <laughs> It'd be like something like <laughs> Tabasco cat. Like you take like you take a bunch of um like cayenne pepper and you like when you're going down on a chicken and you <laughs> blow it on your vagina and then you like inhale it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know, pussy, Tabasco cat, yeah. Alright. Tar baby. <laughs> oh no. That's probably a sex act, and I don't want to know what it is. Actually, it's a horse. Please, God, yes! Thank you, you're a horse. Alright, uh, Christmas Spam. Spam? Christmas Spam. S-P-A-M. Uh-huh. That's a horse, or that's a sex act. That's another one where I'm like, please, God, be a fucking horse. It's not a horse. Oh my god, the suspense. Tell me. Hold on, like I'm... What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, this is taking... This is this is scaring me by the minute. Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's, it is long. No. No. Paraphrase. <laughs> Paraphrase. Short story. I can't. Like, it's... <laughs> no. It's, a, it's an English no. thing. Christmas no. fan is a popular Christmas treat in England in many middle no. to lower income households. <laughs> when all the presents are brought for the children, the house is decorated and the old man got gypped out of his Christmas presents. There's no money left in the kitty for a turkey or ham, so mom has to go out and buy a couple cans of Spam for the Christmas Day meal. She boils up a few potatoes, cooks up some squash, and bakes some shortbreads for dessert. Dad feels bad because he's all tapped out and can't afford a nice gift for the old lady. It pretty much takes the brunt of abuse 365 days a year, drunken beatings carrying him home from the pub on dart night and hauling his ass out of the clink after a good old-fashioned soccer brawl or six. So as a present for his dear old gap tooth hooked back Mrs. Dad dresses up <laughs> Dad dresses up as Santa covers Mom's backside in spam and lays a good old-fashioned Christmas ass banging on her. Balls deep. What? That's <laughs> Christmas spam. <coughs> what? Christmas spam. <laughs> Where in the fuck did you find that? Urban Dictionary. Where I find everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? 
All right. We need to have a conversation. We got. We're gonna have to close the internet for a few days. All right. We're gonna have to FCC this. All right, Simba. That, that's a. I'm sorry. Oh, um, it's a horse. Nope, that's sex act. <laughs> it's after intercourse when you come all over a girl's stomach. You you take a swipe off with your index finger and wipe it on her forehead and say Simba. <laughs> I think how we're gonna end it. <laughs> <laughs> Manny's like, I'm done. I'm going to bed. I can't. I can't anymore. Uh, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh. All right. So that was the feats of strength. <laughs> All right, where do we go from here? Well, that is that is a festival. We're gonna go to bed. That's, That's what we're gonna do. That is a wrap. So, Zia, any any parting words and where people can find you for, uh, for our festivus episode this year? I T S X I A. I'm on Twitter. <laughs> Good for you. Thanks. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Seraphis and happy Festivus, happy holidays, happy New Year. Well, I mean, we, wait, are we going to do a show? Are, are you, are you? Back? Oh, I'll be, I'll be disposed. <laughs> I'll, I will be here. You will not Dude, be here. Next, this next Tuesday is, um, yeah, that's Boxing Day. What? My pool boy. I got to give Epic Insanity a gift on Boxing Day. Is Boxing Day a Canadian thing? Nah, it's British. Yeah. Epic Some and Sandy shit. is like Wisconsin. It's not British at all. No, but Boxing Day is British, and that's the 26th. And since Epic is my servant. No idea what's happening right now. No, I, it's right. perfectly. Whatever. All right. Uh, <laughs> so thank you, everyone, who was hanging out with us tonight. Uh, you can find all of our information for the show at thesundering.net. We are on Twitter, or Facebook. The YouTubes, obviously, if you're watching us live, we're here on Twitch. And that is a wrap for Festivus. We love you guys. Yes. I love you. Shit, I could have made a fucking better episode. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.